Hello everyone and in this video we're going to talk about this awesome new 3D printable UV curing station that you can print and add perfectly to your complete paint station set that uh, that I've provided for you guys. All right. So let's talk a little bit about this paint station set. This thing is printed in three pieces. The front door, the actual housing, and then that back uh, wall there. The reason why I printed it in three pieces so is so that you can stick your hand inside the box while you're uh, coiling the uh, LED lights. Uh, anyway, uh, right now I have this thing set up to a little smart plug, a little Wemo remote, uh, or a little Wemo, I, don't know, I guess a smart plug. Anyway, it, it, it all I have to say is, okay Google, turn on the UV light. Look at that thing, that thing is marvelous. Uh, anyway, I do have a little tiny lip here so that uh, very minimal amounts of, LED, uh, of UV light will escape the box. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of light leakage, but it's not too bad. It's not, it doesn't disturb the eye or anything like that, especially if you're not looking at it directly. Uh, okay, Google, turn off the UV light. All right. Uh, one suggestion, uh, I would not use super glue. I super glued a piece of aluminum foil to the back and uh, to the back wall and to uh, this door here. You get this little weird white film in. I didn't even think about it. Uh, if I could do it again, I'd probably use just Elmer's glue or PVA glue. Just wait a long time until that thing sets. This is probably the worst idea ever. Uh, or if you do use it, make sure you have a very big sheet of aluminum foil. Lay this thing on top of that sheet, let it dry, flip it, and hopefully, uh, if it's like this, a vapors, I think that the, uh, what I did was I stuck it on there and then I cut it really quick and I'm thinking the, the vapor of the super glue had condensed or come out and got on top of the, uh, plate of the aluminum foil. And I think that's what caused my issue. But anyway, that's a, it's a very, my, you know minor issue uh you know if i if i wanted to i could just rip up rip it all off and start again but i'd rather i'm, I'm not even going to worry about it um the backing that i used on these led strips uh, they are they have an adhesive backing on it i would probably just add little pieces of super glue or some kind of glue periodically through while you're coiling this led strip within this box this box required zero, and I mean zero freaking uh, soldering, okay? If you look here in the very back, you see that there's a little hole that, that's a, attached to the back of this uh, unit here. That hole there was a little small, so I had to get a lighter and light a little uh, drill bit and make that hole a little bit wider to, get that, to, to allow the cable to get through. Uh, the reason why I'm leaving the hole the size that it is it's because I know some people are going to want to like really customize the hell out of this thing. And they're going to, the smaller the hole, the easier it is for them to work. Uh, really, that hole was the biggest thing out of this whole assembly that I had to mess with. Uh, you know, like I said, a little, a little lighter, heat up a drill bit on, on, a, on a piece of ply or something. And they just go in there and like, you know, start digging that hole out a little bit. It took me about, you know five minutes and I got it really nice and you know opened it up pretty big you really can't see it until you get to the back uh, this thing look look at it it looks it looks perfect right uh, the settings that I used to print uh, the door was I made sure that the ironing settings on Cura was set that way you get that real nice flat look uh, it was printed down flat on the print bed uh, and it came out excellente. So there you go. Uh, the bottom part here is what was stuck to the print bed. That actually looked kind of nasty because I used gl a glue stick to keep stuff down. Uh, you know, you can't even see it because you have the uh, aluminum foil on there. So it's perfect, right? Uh, that's it, really. Um, oh, one more thing. If you are going, well, of course, you, you are going to be using this to cure um, uh, resin minis. If I was you, I would probably, uh, when you, if you guys are using the display case and if you're cutting pieces of plexiglass, save a piece of plexiglass and stick it on top. The reason why I'm saying this is because uh, if you notice here, this is what I use outside. I put all my minis on this little thing here. And uh, you can see that it's kind of like foggy looking. It's because the resin 
actually the resin on the minis actually gets stuck on the plexiglass I don't want that to happen to these LED strips so I, I am going to probably cut a piece of plexiglass somewhere and stick it on there and that way I can get my mini just put my mini right on there I'm not going to I'm not going to put anything special in there. I'm not going to get a rotisserie or whatever it's called. Those little solar powered things to, to rotate. Um, because first off, uh, I don't think you need it. You have LEDs on the bottom, LEDs on top, LEDs on the sides. You have this aluminum foil to bounce, bounce light around all over the place. This thing is very bright. I don't think you're going to need it. But if you do decide that having a uh, one of these little LED, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, these little solar powered things rotating it will fit in there and yes you could you know potentially stick a mini in there and see it, it it fits just fine it'll rotate just you know close it and uh you can do that and so that'll work for you uh i have tested it and this led this led strip will rotate that thing so uh if you really want to do it that way you could do it that way me personally uh it's very likely that i'm just going to cut a piece of plexiglass stick it on the bottom there and pff, done all right so uh that is the awesome brand new led curing station available for the paint station set that uh, you can find in the description below um uh, thank you very much guys uh everybody who's purchased my paint set my paint station set in the past you guys have been super great i'm adding that sucker on there uh to the set for free for you guys because you guys are great uh, thank you so much and i hope you guys have a great and awesome day